Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day eight of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. This is a collaboration with several members of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Hey, if you're watching a video and you want to get through it faster, you know you can go just below and click on that little gear and you can change the speed to two times the speed. So anytime there's a long video, that's something you can do. And if you want, check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. It's a great friendly group on Facebook. We're about 20,000 members and we're really helpful and we have a lot of fun there. So today what we were supposed to do, or what I am going to do, is make a postcard into a journal card. And I was trying to figure out my take of this, of what I wanted to do. Well, this is an oversized postcard that I got in the mail. Of course, I'm in Oklahoma, so this is about uh, campaigning and that kind of stuff. And what I did was I looked through my stash of papers. I've got some gel prints that didn't have a pattern. I've got some pages where I just rolled my brayer off after I was cleaning it. I've got direct paper where I scraped it with a card. So these were just pieces that I had. And so what I thought I would do today is basically, I wanna cover both sides of this uh, postcard with different pages. So I'm just kind of looking at this, trying to decide what I want to go where. And I think something, let's kind of look at this, see what I can come up with. So I want to rearrange these and figure out what will work. All right, I think I've kind of got a plan here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these down on here. I'm going to use some, I'm going to use some Malene's Tacky Glue. I was trying to decide what I wanted to use. So I'm just going to kind of I also have my little glue pot, which is Aline's Tacky Glue, and I just decided that I would use a paintbrush and kind of spread this uh, glue around a little bit. That way, if I plan to cut up this postcard, the mixed media pages will be stuck to it really well. All right, I'm just going to trim these off. I'll just flip it over to the back side and then trim off the excess. All right, then I'm just going to repeat this process on the other side. I put my paintbrush in water, and that helps get that glue off of there, and then I can just reuse it later. Okay, so I have covered both sides of this oversized postcard so that I can create some more journaling space or a journal card for my junk journal. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. If I want to cut this up or if I want to maybe fold it, it's six inches by 11 inches. So if I fold it, then it would be five and a half inches wide. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this up into postcard size, four by six. All right, so I ended up with three pieces here. So I'm just kind of looking at this. I'll set this one aside. I like the way this one has come out up here. Oh, I think I like that side. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stamp on these and use a few different versions of stamps from Beeline Designs. So this one is part of the postcard stamp set. There's a set of four and I've got three of them out here. And I'm going to use that postcard to stamp up here, and I'll use it over here, kind of like that. All right, this aside, I'm going to use the shabby stitches. Let's grab a scrap of paper here, and I'm going to stamp where these papers are joined together, I like that. I think I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around the edge. Okay, I like that. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and do the other side as well. Okay, so this one says postcard up here and there. I think I'm going to leave this as the writing space size aside. And then on this side, let's put like faux postage in a sense. I think that would look good. So these are some butterfly squares that Calico Collage sells. So I think I'm going to glue those down here. I'm going to go ahead and go around the outside edges with some Distress ink. All right, so I grabbed a couple more stamps here. This is the memory stamp that's part of that same postcard stamp set. 
And I think that'll fit up here. So I'm going to stamp this on this little piece. That way it'll become another little journal card that we can tuck into a spot. So memorandum says on there. And then I've got this um, tree flowering branch, I think is what it's called. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to stamp on here. So I'm moving stuff out of the way. And we're going to just stamp all the way around, just kind of adding the flowers here and there. Just a little bit of decoration. There's still room to write on here. I did the other side as well. Let's repeat that on these other postcards. Okay, I'm liking how these are coming together. I think now what I want to do is I've got this little postmark. There's all different times of cancellation. That's what I'm trying to say. Cancellation stamp. So I want to stamp that over. I think that gives that a cool look. And then I'm going to change it. I've got a different one. This is another cancellation. That looks kind of cool. Across there. Let's see if we can find maybe a little... A little something to put on this card over here. I think that little butterfly in the corner would be good. You can find another one for the other side. There we go. I uh, take my rubber stamps and I will stamp them all out and color them with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. Then I will take them to my computer if they're Beeline Design stamps because I'm allowed to scan them in to my computer and reprint them. And that's what I'll do is I'll do a whole sheet of images that I know that I want to use and I'll color them and then I'll scan them into my computer and then I can reprint them. So it's kind of handy if you know you use the same color scheme over and over again. All right, well, I think, I think I'm done. I, I like the way this looks using the postcard and some book pages that were turned into mixed media elements. I'm not going to put a lot of decoration on this side. I guess I could. Let me see if I can find one more set of butterflies. Maybe if we put one right here. This is a different color. Let me put that one there. I've got some tulip dimensional glitter paint. This is over in like the t-shirt decorating department. I like it because it's inexpensive. And I'm gonna go in here and add a little to this butterfly. I'll use my finger to kind of spread it around. I like that it adds just a touch of sparkle with the glitter, but it doesn't rub off. All right, so there are my version of a postcard into a journal card. I use junk mail and book pages and mixed media pages that I put together to make these. I hope you like this part as the day eight of junk journal gift ideas. Do check the description box below for links to the other participants that are making videos and check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group and of course the products that I use if there's any that interest you. Do know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mondays we make a journal, on Thursdays we do mixed media. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye, everybody.